So, uh, last night, you know, technically it's morning now, but here in Vermont, mornings always start uh, a lot, uh, a lot later. Um, I mean, unless it's the summertime, which is what, two months out of the year or something? Um, I'm, I'm sitting somewhere I probably am not allowed to sit. Uh, I've really taken on the full homeless thing here. Um, because I've, I've just kind of stopped caring about, like, ordinance rules. Like, last night, I slap on a, um, I slap on a, a bench that I don't even think I was allowed to sleep on, like, at where the hospital is. Um, and I had access to a shelter at the time. Like, I, I literally could have gotten admitted if I wanted to. I, I called them and they said, yeah, we have space. I just had to walk there. Um, and what I ended up doing after like five minutes of thinking about it was calling them again and then being like, yo, can you call this off? Um, I, I'm, I'm good, you know, keep this bed for somebody else. And they said, you know, thank you for calling us. We, we appreciate that, you know, you didn't waste our time and, um, now somebody else can get that bed. Um, but I could have easily gotten that bed if, if, if I, you know, if I wanted it. Um, the question was, well, why didn't I want it? And I, honestly, I, I think it's because I just don't want to be around people, like, at all. Like, I, I feel like, like, my, my approach to this whole thing, um, is centered around how I can interact with people as little as possible while being able to, like, financially, um, lift myself up, like, while being able to get myself out of this situation. Um, and so, you know, I might be, be more into the idea of, like, a tent or, or something like that than, you know, your average person. And so that, that might entail, you know, paying for, like, locker space and then staying in a tent. Um, which, I mean, it, it's good to be prepared for that anyway, because you can't always guarantee that you're going to have a spot with the shelter. But, like, you know, I'm, like, an ev most nights type of guy. Um, and, uh, that, I feel like that's, I was about to say that's a rarity, but I don't know. I mean, like, Vermont, like, prides itself on, you know, how many people they're able to house or whatever, but, um, I wonder, like, if a lot of the people you end up seeing on the street, um, are, are just people like me, you know, people who, they don't want to be, you know, in, in the system. I, I, I remember when fights used to break out in homeless shelters, you know, um, or, or, you know, you get the, the interpersonal chaos, the drama, people yelling at each other, you know, um, I don't want to deal with any of that. And even if I didn't want to deal, even if I did want to deal with that, I still wouldn't want to deal with all of the, the, the people, um, who, you know, like, would just recognize that my fucking face is there, you know? I, I don't want to deal with that, and so, because I don't want to deal with that, um, I, 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 I stay outside, um, and really, it's, it's not that bad, like, you know, you, you stay in a well-lit area, it's got some security cameras around, no one's gonna fuck with you for the most part, um, you know, your most valuable possessions, your wallet and whatnot, you get that stored away, and you'll be fine, like, you'll be straight all the way, you know, I, it, there's, like, I, I can foresee a situation where something goes wrong, you know, because it's raining, and because I simultaneously have Google Maps up as, as I do this, um, I have to do a bit of finagling, Thank fucking god my, my phone is for the most part made to be like waterproof and I have the um the specific case for that because otherwise um you wouldn't be able to see what I'm seeing right now which I think is a pretty fucking swell bit of scenery um it's like a ghost town in what's normally like a very active part of town. You know, you, you come down to this part of town and uh, it's like bustling with people usually. Usually they're like centered around these, these shops, you know, they'll pull out 
tables or something and and everybody's like sitting down and they're talking um and obviously there's no cars because it's set up like this so no, nobody's really driving through for the most part um this is like the uh this is like the vacationer spot i guess like you you come here because you're specifically coming to Burlington for things to do. Um, and it's weird seeing it in this state because... Oh, see, there's, there's my fucking thing vibrant. Um, it's weird seeing it in this state because of how normally active it usually is. You know, like... I'm used to there not being, like, a middle ground... It, it's either like if I'm in a place like this it's either going to be super super bustling like 24-7 or uh, it's going to be entirely dead I'm not used to seeing things or, or places rather that like have some level of regular activity in the daytime be dead at nighttime because I just associate that kind of infrastructure with a very very big city this is not a very big city. This is a small city, you know? This is a very, very small city. And so, it's weird for me to see. Um, kind of cool. But I need to, like, not get wet. You know, I've, I've heard this phrase a lot. Um, you know, especially amongst, like, new-agey types. Um, you know, more nihilistic and cynical people as well. Like, money is our god these days, you know? These days, we, we don't worship the Lord, we, we just worship, you know, making more of that, that cheddar, you know, make, getting the, chasing the bag, you know, rolling the stack, um, and, like, my initial reaction to a lot of this was, was just to go, like, oh, that, that's, that's kind of, like, a funny, edgy thing, like, it feels like, like, a guy who just got out of the Joker or the Matrix or something, and then, you know, they, they feel like they're, like, enlightened, um, but the longer I spend out here, the more I kind of understand the sentiment, like, as simple as it may be, um, it's more and more resonant with me, like, every single day, like, money really is our god at this point, like, every single thing you do, even these free buses, you know, the state of Vermont has free transportation, it's all electric, which I think is pretty cool, in that it costs money to somebody, you know, when, when I eventually get a job here, it's going to come out of my check. I'm going to be paying for it. I'm just paying for it indirectly. Um, and so in that sense, like, literally everything, no matter what it is, literally everything is controlled by this stupid fucking piece of paper. Um, and it, it kind of, like, takes the... It, it, it's almost like it devalues the actual thing, you know? The price of it devalues the actual thing. Um, fucking piece of paper.